Hi, I'm Phil Story from Glow, and we're on a mission to help businesses do more with their website. Before we start with today's video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and also check out our website for more helpful tips and advice. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about three simple tips that you can implement today to make your website a little bit more secure. So, tip number one, back up your website. Backing up your website is a little bit like pressing save when you're writing a document. So once you've saved your website, you'll be able to refer back to that point in time if something goes wrong in the future. And believe me, speaking from experience, I've been very glad on a number of occasions that we've had things backed up. The key with backups is to not rely on one place. If you only have one, then if that doesn't work, you're in a bit of trouble. So firstly, have a chat with whoever hosts your website. They should be backing up the server that your website sits on all the time. Then head over to your website and log into WordPress. There's lots of plugins that you can install that'll back up your website for you. They're all largely a case of setting it up once and leaving it. Although it is good practice to check in on these things every now and then. So tip number two, use strong passwords. We've all had this drilled into us for years now, so please use a strong password. If it's anything like your name one, two, three, or my personal favorite, password one, two, three, pause the video right now and change it. Don't use, oh, I can't remember all my passwords as an excuse. There's loads of tools out there now that can securely store all of your passwords in one place, and your web browser is probably giving you the option of remembering you too. So log into your website and go to the users section of WordPress. Click on your profile and scroll to the very bottom. Here, you'll see a button that says generate password. You can use the one that WordPress suggests, which is really secure, or set your own. WordPress even tells you how secure it is as you're typing it in, which is really handy. You can also install a plugin like All-in-One WordPress Security, which will tell you roughly how long it'd take a piece of software to guess your password. I think mine on Glow is something like 47 billion years or something ridiculous. Tip number three, use a dedicated server, not a shared one. Now this one's getting a little bit technical, but a quick message to your hosting company can help you out with this one. So if you don't know who your hosting company is, ask the person that's built your website. A dedicated server will cost you a bit more, but it also usually means that it's only your website that's on it. One of the most common alternatives to a dedicated server is a shared server. And as the name suggests, you share that space on the server with other websites, sometimes thousands of other websites. The reason you don't want to be on a shared server is because you have no control over those other websites. And I think we can all admit to knowing a number of dodgy websites. These could well be sharing the same space as yours. If they get hacked or they aren't properly maintained, this could affect your site too. On a dedicated server, that can't happen. So there you go, you've just made your website a little bit more secure and better maintained. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can also check out our website for more tips just like this. Thank you.